Hi guys, so look at this question here. Uh, this question says that for the construction of a temple, uh, the management has approached a certain number of devotees for donation. A fourth of the devotees approached by management obliged and donated rupees 500 on an average. Okay, this fulfilled 70% of the total requirement. To fulfill the remaining amount, the management again approached the same number of devotees as earlier, of which only a fifth obliged and donated. Okay. This fulfilled the balance requirement. Approximately, what would be the average amount donated by the second set of devotees? Right. It says that in the first case, uh, the management approached a certain devotees, and if if there were x de devotees, then x by four devotees uh, paid. Uh, if management approached x devotees, then x by four devotees, that is a fourth of devotees, uh, paid rupees five hundred on an average. And it filled rupees seven, and it filled seventy percent of the requirement. Okay. Now, in second time, they again they approach the same number of devotees, and of which only a fifth obliged and donated. So now again, if they approach X, this time X by five devotees actually uh, supported and donated, right? And but that actually filled the full balance here. That's the question. Okay. So to to make it easier actually, because we have the data here, a uh, fifth and a fourth. So we'll take, we'll assume the total number of devotees, guys. Okay. So we'll assume total number of devotees here. I'll assume to be uh, LCM of five and four. So LCM of five and four is twenty. So I'll assume total number of devotees as twenty x. Okay. And let the total amount I can say the total amount that is that is uh, to be collected is equal to. n okay so let's assume these two things here fine now in the first case you can see here that the number of devotees who did, uh, donated uh, it is a fourth that means i can say that 20x by 4 that is equal to 5x people you uh, yeah, know donated okay and uh, the average amount is rupees 500 so average amount is rupees 500 so can i say that uh, the This is actually it is also given that it is seventy percent of the total requirement. It is seventy percent of the total requirement, right? So I can say here that now that five x people paid paid on an average five hundred. So I can say that the total amount paid is five x into five hundred, and that is equal equal to seventy percent of the uh, total requirement. That is, if the total amount collected to be n, or better, I can assume total amount collected to be hundred n. It will make further easier, right? So, if total amount is hundred n, so its seventy percent will be seventy n. That's the first equation, right? So, five x is the number of people who are giving money on an average each paid five hundred. So, total amount is five x into five hundred, and this is actually equal to seventy percent of total amount collected. That is seventy n. That's the first equation, right? Now, in the second case, you can see here that. In the second case, it says that uh, again management approached the same number of devotees here, but only a fifth this time obliged actually. Okay, so I can say that out of twenty x, its fifth is equal to what four x. This time four x people actually uh, paid, and average amount donated. Let's say in this case the average we don't know, so I'll assume the average amount to be rupees a. So if average amount is rupees a. So what I can tell in this case that obviously seventy percent of the, ah uh, sorry thirty percent of the total requirement is filled now because balance was completed, right? So thirty percent first case seventy percent, second case thirty percent of the total requirement was fulfilled. So what is my second equation, guys? So my second equation here will be here will be total amount total people are four x each of them paid on an average a rupees and this fulfilled thirty percent of the total amount that is thirty n year. Okay. So that's my second equation here. Correct. So now, if if uh, I want to solve for uh, this uh, these equations here, so obviously I'll get the value of a from here, right? I can just divide one and two. You can just divide, guys. So you can just divide one by two. Divide this. Divide one and two. So what you will be getting is actually five uh, x into five hundred into is equal to seventy n. Ah, uh, and divided by four x into a. Is equal to thirty n. Okay. Now this gets cancelled here. So x and x gets cancelled. N and n gets cancelled. Therefore, I can say that 
the value of a a will come out to be what guys you can see that i can just calculate the value of 100 a from here no so 500 into 30 by 70 that is 15000 by 70 I, I think the value of 100, uh, a will be from here it would be 15 i think roughly 267 yeah so a will be equal to uh, 15000 by 7 okay so it is just sense here that okay this, this value is getting actually uh, this is 15,000 by 7 and this 4 is also here. You just cancel it 5 uh, x and x. So this is 125. So I think A will be now coming out to be 37. 267 roughly I think 268 roughly right. You just take the value okay. So A comes out to be roughly 268. And that should be the answer okay. So A is the average here. Okay. So that, that, this, this is what, what I need to calculate it. Average amount. So A is roughly 268. That is the answer. Okay. Okay, and this is the uh, very nice uh, test event guys. So I always keep telling about this combat. Okay, all of you should give this combat a uh, really very, very uh, uh, important and uh, new questions are there. So it's, it's very important that before CAT you give so many small tests, right? So one of these tests, we have, it happens every Sunday 12 p.m. You'll get some new questions in quant, 10 new questions in quant. Okay, 10 new questions in L LRDI, similarly in verbal. So, and this is a live event also. So basically after every uh, question you answer, there's a live scorecard going on. So it's a fun also, right? It's a fun, good, good competition. Plus adding this good questions to your question bank. So in every every Sunday, you're getting some 10 new questions in, in, in this combat, right? Okay, so in, in, in around 10, 10 combats, it, you can get 100 new questions of quant. Okay, same 100 new questions of LRDI. So we have this, all this, tests and solutions with with practice right with live grilling of your mind it's very very important so do this this give this combat all of you it's a free event completely free okay and uh, you can just put the invite code it will ask you just put the invite code Ravi Rodha okay and then you can just give this event and uh, give this test discuss with me uh, in my telegram group what's the problem what's the shortcoming we'll discuss about this okay so just give this test on this Sunday 12 p.m. okay I'll put the enrollment link in the description. Thank you.